I hope everybody is taking care and being blessed today. Y'all, I apologize for it being a little while that I came with you guys with a video. I wanted to come at you guys with a video. Um, I retwisted. First, actually, I shampooed my hair and I retwist my hair um, today. What I like to do, because um, a lot of people was asking me about my regimen. Um, my regimen may not be your regimen, but this is what I do. And this is what I find that my hair really likes a lot. And I've been doing it for a while. Um, what I do is I shampoo my hair one day and then the next day what I do is I just I just kind of like after I get done shampooing I just let it air dry I just let the air get it and I just let it air dry after it get done air drying the next day that is when I usually retwist it um if I don't retwist because lately I have not been retwisting I just go ahead and the next day add oil to my scalp so my hair will not be dry and I add also product to my uh, locks this is a good product you guys that I love using in my locks um you probably can't see it Hold on, come on camera. This camera be acting so crazy. Let's try it again. Hopefully you can see it. Um, it is called Lavender Platinum Penetrating Oil. It's by OGX and it's the Lavender Platinum. So if you are looking for that, I can only find it online. Um, again, it is the Organics um, Lavender Platinum Penetrating Oil, Hydrate and Color Reviving. Um, you can be able to Google that and I know Amazon have it. Um, so one thing that I did retwist with, and I tell you guys, I always retwist with, um, either aloe vera gel and you can use any kind you guys. So I don't want you to get wrapped up in the actual type kind that I use, but I always use, um, this kind right here is aloe vera gel premium natural. Um, I get this online. Most of my products you guys, I purchase online, uh, cause the beauty supply store really just don't sell what I need. Um, I've also been using this vitamin E gel. Um, you can be able to just Google fruit of the earth vitamin E gel. Like I said, I got this online. Um, I've been using this in my hair. On my client's hair, I've been using that aloe vera gel. Uh, what I also use is I use an oil in my client's hair. Um, as I am retwisting, I will use an oil. Either I will use, um, I don't really use the wild growth oil on my clients. Um, I use like olive oils, grapeseed oils, uh, avocado oils. It just depends on my client's hair texture. Um, what else? What I always want to make sure you guys always have is some duck bill clips. You always want to have you some duck bill clips. I love to have these and I also like to have, let me show you guys, I like to have the small ones too. These and there's another, the, the pointy ones. I like those too when I'm doing my hair in the front. These right here. I like these also. So hopefully you can see those. Um, what I do, you guys, you know I hate clips. I hate clips, y'all. I hate clips. So I was just trying to figure out what could I do to be able not to use the clips. So what I did was I was just happened to um, be checking out this uh, girl that I love on um, YouTube. Her name is A Lot Goddess. I think she might have changed her name to goddess locks or something like that i will provide you with her link in the um video description box but i was just watching her video and i seen her use rubber bands and i had it in my mind i was like you know what i should try rubber bands i was just trying to think of all different things that i can use besides the clips because i hate the clips so i was like you know what I seen it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. So shout outs to you, girl, because it was in my head, but I never did it. But when I seen you do it, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. When I say you guys, I love it. Now, this is one thing she also let me know, too, uh, and everybody else. We will be using clips. You got to use the clips so you can be able to get your sections all retwisted. And then once you get it all retwisted, you take off the clips and then you just um, put your rubber bands on. I'm going to reenact because I'm actually done doing it. What I like to always do, I'm going to take my hair scarf off. I like to always, my hair was dry. Um, once my hair is dry, that is when I'm going to add my hair scarf because I was just kind of just chilling around the house. So that's the reason why I um, put my hair scarf on. But when I was out and about, you couldn't even tell. That's why I like doing it just like this. Like nobody will even know that you are retwisting your hair. What I like to always do is I put four sections, five. I put, um, first I decide on how I am going to wear my um, hair. You always decide on what part and all that good stuff. And you just basically make sure you retwist that way. You do that same thing when you're using clips. So again, let's react. I'm going to go ahead and take these rubber bands out. And when you put rubber bands on, guys, you are using these black rubber bands. You are not making them tight. You're not doing none of that. Like, so if you if you plan on, you know, making them super tight, yeah, you go lose some hair. So please, you guys, don't leave me no crazy 
um, uh, stuff on there by losing hair. You ain't gonna lose hair because look, that's all I'm doing is putting a rubber band on like that. I don't have to rub, round it around, none of that. And if you check her hair out, you will see that hair, her, her hair is not broke off at all. It's like super long. And she was actually one of my lockspirations. So again, girl, I truly appreciate all your videos because they really helped me. And not only did your lock video help me, um, when you was doing Instacart, because I've been doing that on the side. But i got videos, guys, so make sure you guys check out those videos. So what I'm going to do, y'all, and now when I do um, retwist, I put, I do do this twice. Because I want my rubber band to be really, um, not real tight, but I want it to be nice and firm. Because I want to make sure my retwist lasts. What I did, guys, is I did get up under the dryer for 30 minutes. But you don't have to get up under the dryer. I just, to me, I feel my hair um, does a little better when I get up under the dryer. So the good thing, y'all, about doing it like this, you can air dry it for about, um, I'm going to say about a good 30 minutes. Go ahead and put them back like this. So just in case you got somewhere to go, they're not all over your place. The rubber bands cannot be seen. So it looks pretty cool. And this is the retwist you get from it. This is what I got from it, y'all. It's not um, tight because I don't like super tight retwist. I don't like that. I like my uh, scalp to be nice and clean, but I don't want um, to be able to just see through my parts, okay? So what I'm going to do is take this off just really nice and easy. Like I said, you guys, um, it depends on how long your hair is. Just go ahead and wrap it to however long. And so they usually pop anyway, so that makes it even better and easier to get out. That's why you don't do it tight. Um, you can be able to sleep in these. That's why I love that because like if you... Um, if you wanted to try to sleep in these clippies, they will kill your head. And let's do a reenactment, y'all. So what I do is act like I'm doing my regular retwist. Like, so I will get all these retwisted. And, you know, you will use your clips like normal, how, just how you normally retwist. I'm going to attach a video that goes in depth. You will go ahead and do your regular retwist. Use your clips. You know, use your little ducky clippies. Like I told you guys, you'll put your hair in like about five sections. Um, I like to put this in a section, this in a section, this top half in a section, this back. I put it in a section. Uh, I do um, two back here and two right here. So you see how it is just like this. Do your sections and I will attach a picture. Just do your sections. And then when you do it like that, you don't got to worry about having so much hair and you got to do this and that. So what you would do, just how I took them clips off, you would take those clips off and just hold it real nice and tight. So you'll fix it up, make it really pretty and neat. If any of them come untwisted, you'll make sure you retwist them again and you just put it in this little ponytail. And then what you do is you grab your uh, black rubber band. And make sure all the hair is nice and firm and going back. Because if it's going back, you don't got to worry about no lumps and bumps. And just do your rubber band. Not super tight. Like I told you guys, you're going to go around twice. Because you want everything to stay in place. And then what I would do, it depends on how long your locks is. I would just take the rubber band. You're not going around twice. See, they, they pop. So that's what's so good about it. So you don't got to tell you guys, this is not going to take care of so go ahead and, and it only popped because I used it already. So, you know, anytime you use something, it's going to pop. Okay, so then what you do is just keep on going all the way down until you can't go down anymore. And it's really kind of banding. It's called a banding method, but we use rubber bands. And this is a good way, too, you guys, to stretch your hair. So if you don't want to do a retwist and you want to just stretch the length of your hair, do this, too, because it works perfect. And like I said, you guys, I do, um, let me make sure how many sections. One, two three, four, five, six. So you should have about six to seven sections. Um, and like I said, if I go to bed like this, I didn't even have to get under the dryer. But like I said, to me, I just think it kind of mold a little better when I get up under the dryer. Um, and you could just go out and about and you don't have to sit under the dryer too long and just take all of them out. So we're gonna do that right now. Cause I know people will be like, how you get it out? Super easy, super duper easy. Um, and again, like I said, you guys, I use aloe vera gel or the vitamin uh, E gel. I don't like to use any uh, products other than oils and my aloe vera gel in my hair because I don't want to have buildup. I'm telling you guys, it is so hard to get rid of buildup. Um, I was doing my um, ship, not shifting, Instacart, because you guys know I do that on the side. 
Um, if you don't know about Instacart, it's just you shopping for people you get paid for. I'm going to uh, provide my link in the video description box so you can check it out and get more information on it. But I was um, picking up a, um, a order and one of the cashiers was like, um, she said, um, I mean, now she said, I seen her locks. They were really, really pretty, but um, they had a very bad product buildup in them. And you guys, when you have a product buildup, you don't want to let it go for a really long time because I'm telling you guys, your hair will stay like that. Um, and she was telling me that she really don't like to get her hair retwisted and stuff, which is fine if you don't want to get it retwisted, but you have to get that product out your hair because the longer it sits in there, y'all, the more it may not come out and you don't want that to happen. Okay, so make sure you guys, if you aren't retwisting, just make sure you at least shampoo it and separating your locks. And what I mean by separating them, just after you get done shampooing them, just kind of go through them, use your hand and just separate them. So you don't got to worry about um, straight hairs and stuff. Because I have went three months um, without doing a full retwist and um, I had so many stray hairs. Because the way that my locks grow, they grow outside of my locks some people grow locks grow into they locks mine grow outside so i just got to make sure that i always um keep my hair up if that's what you're going for because i like the manicure look sometimes and sometimes i don't it just all depends on what i'm going for so what i'm gonna do y'all is once it's time for me to um go to bed i'm gonna miss my hair like i told you guys i always miss my hair with a spray bottle put on my bonnet and then tomorrow, the, the like how they kind of got little kinks in them, they'd be all gone. What you want to do is just put your locks behind your ears. I know somebody made a video about um, not using a bonnet. You use what works for you. Because um, to me, I love the bonnet. I lo it's satin and it feels really good. Um, I used to use my wave cap when my locks were shorter. I loved it. But now they're too long. Um, not saying they're super long, you know, but they're too long. So this does not go inside of a wave cap like even though it's long so what i like to always do is make sure i have it in the headscarf um and this is what i use i try to use the lock sock i like it but i i really like this i always go back to this so it all depends on what lock stage you are in um what headscarf works for you and everybody is different it all depends on what you like okay so just wanted to come to you guys real quick because this girl was asking me how do you do the rubber band retwist, that is how you do it. Again, after you get done, you can sit in the dryer for about 30 minutes if you want to. If not, make sure you get out and about so you can be able to get your hair um, dry, especially if it's a sunny day. Like try to get out because you need to get, make sure your hair get dry so you can get the best retwist possible. Um, and if not, you can just sit up under the dryer for like 50 minutes. Like if I feel like it, because I know I ain't going to wear it, it's late. Um, I just sit under the dryer for 50 minutes. I just always usually do that because my, like I said, my retwist lasts a lot longer. And then tomorrow, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to be putting some um, oil in my hair. Um, and this is the oil I use. Y'all know I swear by it, Wild Growth Oil. I freaking love it. Been using it for years. My scalp love it, and that's what I put it on. So tomorrow, I'll be oiling my scalp. So everything I do, you guys, is in a process and in steps. Try it. You might like it. You'd be amazed at sometimes when you do things in steps and you don't got to worry about washing and retwisting and all this extra. Try to do it in steps and I'm telling you guys, you will like it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I do have classes. So if you are looking for someone to teach you how to care for your locks um, or your natural hair, I most definitely uh, can help you. And you can take one of my classes. I am located in Dallas, Georgia. Okay? That's about 20 minutes away from Atlanta. Why well, I just say that? I'm going to say about 30 minutes away from Atlanta. Okay, guys, be blessed and I'll chat with you later. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you guys press that bell so you can be notified when I upload. Because the way that YouTube have it now, they don't notify you unless you press that bell. So make sure you press the bell. Bye, guys.